Coach Greg, I am an IPB Pro bodybuilder, and I'm here to answer the question, is Jeff Nippard really natural? So those of you who don't know, Jeff Nippard has over a million followers on YouTube. He's very, very well known. He has extremely great video editing and knowledge. And uh, if you ever want to know anything about training um, or fitness in general, he has a great channel. So just to get a background, I first met Jeff in Halifax when he was dieting for some natural bodybuilding contests and I did get to talk to him and I saw him train and what have you. And he had a really great build and he was uh, the champion natural bodybuilder for juniors for Canada. So he at a young age was incredibly well built. So this guy looked great, okay? Um, later on he moved away and started a YouTube channel I started subscribing, he had a few thousand followers like Ice Cream for PRs. I thought he had good information, interviewed scientific people and whatnot, and I loved his channel. He then later got more and more popular, and of course, once you're more popular and people see your physique, they start wondering, are you natural or not? He turned natural pro, so he won a drug-tested event, turned pro, competed as a pro, and in the natural organizations, it did pretty good. He's passed drug tests before, and so there's no reason to be like, well, he must not be natural, okay? So, what do I think? I think he's natural. I don't think he's used anything. Am I positive? No, you never know, only he knows for sure. But I'm gonna give you some reasons as to why somebody with his build could be um, natural when for the most part my rule is if you think somebody's not natural they probably aren't because you're right 90% of the time and this is one of those cases where I think he's natural and I'll tell you why okay so basically his genetics are awesome his mom has like a crazy bill like he did a video with his mom and his mom is jacked and ripped so his genetics are awesome his genetics are better than mine for sure okay i look at my bill when i was a teen compared to his and he would have beat me for sure now has he progressed over the years he's 28 years old now and frankly he's not doesn't look any better than he did many years ago so if he was to take steroids or sarms why is he not better why doesn't he look more impressive if you ever met Jeff, he's like five foot four and 170 pounds. He's not very lean. He's okay. He, he doesn't strike you as looking like so jacked. However, he does post some photos, videos that make him look quite good and quite big, but it's the special lighting that they use, okay? Some people are just really good at taking photos and videos. Jeff is awesome at this. So you look at a video, you might think he's five foot 10 and 200 pounds of muscle. He's very small and doesn't have a lot of muscle. He's quite strong, but I mean, he was a power lifter. That's why I was like, when I met him, I'm like, oh, that's cool. I power lift, I bodybuild, it's the same thing. So I could see like a lot of similarities in that sense. So he's not really just put on like a ton of muscle overnight. He's not been strong overnight. You haven't seen that he's here and now he's here and it's like, how did he get there? So good sign that he's natural. He's been training his whole life, okay? Um, What else? Uh, yeah, he's passed all his drug tests. He hasn't failed. He hasn't put on a lot of size. He doesn't get super shredded. He doesn't walk around with that like wow factor. And if you saw him in a t-shirt, you'd be like, okay, just some dude that works out. So why isn't he so much better? He doesn't train hard at all. Have you, if you've ever seen his videos or his training, he trains like, frankly, it's quite amazing as that he's as good as he is for the limited amount of effort he puts into it. So it's all science-based, but he doesn't train hard. So it's he's trying to make up for volume with doing more reps and more sets. And obviously it's working pretty good, but he's holding himself back. I think if Jeff put as much effort into his build as he could, he would be so much better and at that point people would all be like there's no way he's natural but i think jeff 
to, if he put his genetics to his limit, Jeff would be like a freak. He would be so good. So it's just that he's born with really good genetics and so he can maximize this and look really good. Some people just have the genetics. This guy at 20 years old looked awesome. So it's not weird or strange to think that at 28, he's gonna have the muscle that he does. And frankly, I think if Jeff took steroids and trained hard, like, like me, Jeff would beat me in bodybuilding competitions. So to say he's not natural and it's not possible and you can't be that big and he must be juicing and must be using SARMs, no, because he's not that impressive. He could be impressive. He's pretty good for a natural guy. Let's put it that way. Okay. So hopefully that's a wrap on this. Hopefully it makes sense. Hopefully I didn't insult Jeff in any way. And I respect him. I think he's great for the industry. But uh, a lot of people ask me, is Jeff natural? I get it all the time. And there's my answer. I think he's natural.